What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a really cool CVI inspired exercise that I want you to try. Now this focuses on a few very, very important things. First of all, intervals. As you, as you heard, we're basically going to stack a bunch of fifths together. The second important thing that we're gonna focus on is the left hand position shifts. How do you change position when it's awkward to change position? And also how, how you get you know that fast, quick transition from from two very different and disconnected shapes, you know, from each other. So before we start, real quick, as always, check the links in the description for free resources for your next practice sessions. Let's get this year starting in the right way and let's get your plane to the next level. Check out the links in the description. Everything's gonna be free access for you. So check those out and I'll see you back here. All right, so for this one, the inspiration is pretty obvious. The master, Steve Vai, absolute god. You know, he does a lot of these like fifth, bass runs on the guitar we're not going to necessarily look at any steve Vai line specifically but we are going to look at ways you can you know, arpeggiate fifths or look at you know the fifth interval on the guitar and it's also a really good exercise for just picking and technique in general it's a really good warm-up we start in e since we're gonna just stack fifths the key is gonna change but we we don't care about that we're just thinking about stacking fifths on top of each other so so we start with the open E, and then we just play fifths. So I'm picking every note twice, right? So, and so for the first three, you can think of it as a, you know, E at nine arpeggio. Another fifths on top of that. And you could think of this as an as an E uh, six nine, nice. And then from here we just stack fifths on top of each other, so... So it has this sort of... Lydian vibe. I mean, we're not necessarily playing the B-flat or A-sharp yet. We're gonna reach that, you know, higher on the in the line, but still, you know, it, it already has that sort of like dreamy, really open, you know, vibe, which is obviously, you know, the sound of fifths, you know, they have this really bright and open sound. Check out Jacob Collier if you want to know more about, you know, the sound of each interval. All right, so I'm going to just play this first part really slow so you can follow along. So I'm playing four, I guess, fifths in a row. And then I'm playing three and three. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. Meaning that, you know, I just stack these three on top. And here I do four because I have the open string, so. When you go back, notice that I'm playing the, the first note with the pinky each time, so it's like I'm moving these shapes around, right? So And that is, like I said earlier, a really good exercise for shifting position with the left hand. And as you can notice as well, the position happens gradually, so... With the last note, I'm starting to move the pinky. So the pinky reached 
this note and then gradually you know the middle finger moves down and the index finger uh, I'll play it slow so you can see that so it's not like I'm not waiting for the whole hand to get into a position I'm doing that gradually note by note so you don't want to just do and like wait for the whole you know hand to do that you can do that gradually so as I move to the next shape the hand follows along gradually this might be obvious for some of you but for some people it's not immediate to get to that gradual transition and, and if that's the case you should work on it now this is the first part and you could already just you know stick with this and practice this for a while you know, uh, f focus first on the left hand, but then also on the right hand. This is really, like I said, a really good picking exercise. Trying to get those repeated notes clean, so it could be, you know, an alternate picking exercise. However, we're not going to stop here. We're going to try to stack even more fifths on top of this. So. Once we reach here, the high E string, we can stack another one on top and go. So repeat, we're re basically repeating these last two notes, but we're adding another fifth on top. And if we had 25 frets, we could do that again here. Well, we don't have this 25th fret. You can still play that. If you really want. So once you're here, once again. And here we have, you know, that Lydian note. really opens up the sound make this sound you know very spacious and cool so the the whole thing slow with the addition of the the last piece there all right so when you get up here We have this shift that, that is really the point of the whole exercise, like I said earlier. Key to get this transition right is to focus on that you know, transition moment right there at the last note. So, so as you play this last note here, you should already be thinking ahead a little bit and start to move your hand to the next note. Another thing you can try to practice is, you know, just these two notes. Trying to make it sound as much as possible, like, you know, uh, as if it was just... looks really sus but you get the idea now another tip for you know these types of transition really the key here is the thumb might be not obvious but uh, really the, the thumb positioning and the thumb movement here dictates the the whole you know left hand position so obviously in general you want to have the thumb sort of you know behind the middle finger right so what happens when you when you try to move in a position like that Notice how the thumb is really sort of anticipating a little bit the, the rest of the hand. I can't really do that with the guitar like this, but... First of all, it's not staying in the same place. I've seen people just leave the thumb, you know, behind. 
trying to you know move across the fret where they they move the hand but like not the thumb that's not what you want to do whatsoever so it, it's rather the opposite of that you're trying to move the thumb a little bit before the rest of the hand because the, the thumb is really your like anchor point right it's like your reference point it gives stability to the whole you know left hand so uh you're trying to move that thumb across as fast as possible so try to focus on the thumb when you do this you know this type of fast movement you also don't want to obviously press too hard on the neck otherwise you know you don't have that mobility but really you know just try to keep in mind to move the thumb fast basically even even faster than the rest of the fingers so try to focus on the thumb whenever you you do this type of transition you could try this just just came up with this but this is stuff It is really tough, but if you wanna really drill in this movement, this can help. So I'm playing this transition here, and then G sharp up here, and then it's basically the same thing, but higher on the fretboard. So. so we could do like I mean, you don't have to go probably this low, but this could be pretty cool. Really, really tough. Doesn't look like it, but try it <laughs> and then let me know. All right, so that is basically the whole exercise. And I believe the way I played it at the beginning, I went into G. So you can cycle between you know E major to G major to get a nice spacious and spatial chord change. And that is basically the whole exercise. Try it, let me know how it goes. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, like and all that stuff. But most importantly, check out the links in the description. That's where the real value is. You'll find the free training. You'll find the free toolkit for your practice. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.